Well, good day, smart traders, and welcome to another fantastic day. Let's start things off by having a look at our economic calendar for today. Today's economic calendar isn't very exciting, with zero black star or even half star events listed for today, meaning that this could limit market volatility during the course of today. However, this also means that our trading today will primarily be based on technical analysis. Now let's move over and have a look at what's making headlines today. In currency news, the dollar tumbled after the US jobs data showed a strong but not blockbuster employment picture in December, while a separate report showed that the US service industry activity contracted for the first time in more than two and a half years that month. Wages in the US also grew 0.3% last month, less than the 0.4% in November, and below the forecast of 0.4%. That lowered the year-on-year -year increase in wages to 4.6% from the 4.8% in November. There is, however, a bit of fear that this could be quite a blockbuster print in terms of job growth, which is a risk due to the seasonal adjustments that are common in December. Now, let's have a look at what's making headlines on Wall Street. Goldman Sachs will start one of its biggest rounds of job cuts ever, as it locks in on a plan to eliminate about 3,200 positions this week. The report stated that the financial service major is expected to begin the process midweek and the total number of people affected will not exceed 3,200. US indices lifted slightly this morning after posting weekly advances after a contracting service sector indicated easing inflation pressure. This week, market participants will be focused on December's consumer price index, with the month-on-month -month reading expected to come in at 0.1% bringing the annualized rate to 6.6% from 7.1% in the prior month. And finally, let's have a look at commodities. Oil prices climbed this morning as the borders reopened in China, the world's top crude importer, boosting the outlook for fuel demand growth and offsetting global recession concerns. Gold prices rose to a seventh month high after signs of cooling job markets pushed up expectations for a softer US inflation reading this week and an eventual turn in the Federal Reserve's hawkish stance. So that's it from us here at Smart Online Trader. If you're interested in any of the additional services that we provide, kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the first be with you. Cheers.